DHSEquipment.com. The next thing you want to do is you want to remove the four bolts and remove the cylinder. Uh, before you remove the cylinder, uh, if you're not very familiar with these engines, if you're not very familiar with, with two cycles, uh, <coughs> when you go to reinstall this piston or this cylinder assembly, you may not recall which, which end goes where. Is it the intake side over here? Is it the exhaust side over there? So just to, just to remove all that, uh, that doubt, before we remove the cylinder, just take a marker. Uh, this was the exhaust side of the cylinder, if you want. Just put a little EX on your engine over here. This way when you go to reassemble it, you know which way the cylinder is going because it'll install either way. It's gonna take a five millimeter socket head wrench. Drop it down in there and remove those bolts. <coughs> These are socket head bolts. They sometimes have a tendency to strip, especially if your socket head tool, if your Allen wrench is a little bit worn, these bolts are a little worn, uh, it's always a good idea to go ahead and replace new bolts if you're gonna redo this, this cylinder. This way the next time, it won't strip. Because if that head of the bolt strips while it's in the cylinder, uh, although it's not impossible to remove, it's just not the easiest thing to remove. You've got to get in there with a drill bit and you've got to drill out the head, uh, the bolt in order to remove the cylinder and then try to extract the bolt. <coughs> so we'll loosen all these screws. And we just lift the cylinder off the piston. 